guys, welcome back to Gold Souls. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a copy of American Vogue from 1965, hence the 60s makeup look today. As you know, Vogue is a high fashion magazine, so this is full of fancy advertisements, fur coats, funky 60s hair, wild eyeliner, and amazing full page spread ads that would make Don Draper jealous. This magazine could not have come into my life at a better time, because I just finished watching Mad Men for the very first time, and flipping through these pages put me directly in touch with the 1960s, this amazingly glamorous, dynamic, and at times crazy decade that all of those wonderful characters called home. So if you're a big fan of Mad Men, you're gonna love this. Okay, so this edition of Vogue is from October 1st, 1965. The model on the cover is Marisa Berenson, and she was a really popular model at the time. And as you can see here at the top, this issue was 75 cents at the time. So let's open it up and check it out. The thing I love about ads from the 20th century is that a lot of them are hand-drawn, which is really beautiful. There's so many great drawings and paintings to be seen in these magazines along with really great photography, but I love these hand-drawn and hand-painted ads because you just don't see this anymore. Since I've watched Mad Men now, I can't help but look at these ads and just imagine the pitch meetings that went on. So many full page ads too. Like most of this magazine is actually advertisements, which I think is kind of interesting. This is so Don Draper, I can't even handle it. Tell me that's not Don and Betty. This one is my favorite. Look at that makeup. This is um, an eyeshadow ad for Revlon. Frosted brush on eyeshadow. It says, a million women have a crush on brush on, and now we've added frosting to the cake. So, okay, so all of these shades are like frosty colors. It says, it's the biggest shakeup in makeup since Revlon invented brush on eyeshadow. They invented it? So 60s. And I don't know if you can tell on here, but the eyelashes actually look like someone went in afterwards and painted some extra definition. This one too, oh my gosh. And the makeup is really, it's very timeless. Like even this one, like it's not as harsh as um, some 60s ads are where the eyeliner is really, really huge, but you have those really defined lashes, you have the dark inner crease and the blue, and it actually still looks really good. This one's actually advertising a film called The Agony and Ecstasy from 20th Century Fox. I'm not familiar with this one, but it's um, using the film to advertise silverware in a renaissance style, which then ties into this next part of the magazine. Renaissance silk reborn in 1965. Only silk is silk. I actually really like this one. love this one. The look is very Sophia Loren to me. This one's so great. The color is amazing. And there we go again with the greenish, bluish eyeshadow. This looks like eyeliner and lipstick in that same shade. Very interesting. Okay, this is the most Mad Men part of the whole thing. I love this ad, it's a Howard Johnson's ad. If you've seen Mad Men, you remember the episode where Don and Megan go to Howard Johnson's. The cool thing about this ad is that it actually opens up. So here it is, the full ad. So this little description here is basically just describing all of these looks that the people are wearing here from Dior. But then over here, 
it says Dior has designed a new uniform for the Johnson girls. And it says the uniform with a difference. It creates a whole new outlook for Johnson girls with the in look of today. It has the smart look of fashion inspired by an original design from Christian Dior New York. Soon you'll be seeing this new uniform worn by nearly 12,000 gracious Johnson girls who serve you in the newest, nicest places on the road. Basic accessory, the famous smile that makes you feel at home. That's always fashion with Johnson girls. Happy inspiration for you whenever, wherever you dine at Howard Johnson's. I can literally imagine Don Draper pitching this ad. Oh, this is really cute. This one's cool. It's an ad for a Claritone stereo, and they're also using it to promote Frank Sinatra's album, The September of My Years, as well as a movie that he's in called Marriage on the Rocks with Warner Brothers. This one's really good. So many of these ads are just great works of art on their own. You just wanna like take them out and frame them, but I don't wanna I don't wanna take the magazine apart. This is a lash ad, obviously. This part was interesting. It's a school directory. Vogue had a school bureau, apparently. There's lists here of girls' schools, boys' schools, finishing schools, junior colleges, schools for retailing, home study, secretarial, and business. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's a particular decade that you'd like to see a magazine from, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. I'm also thinking about maybe doing a makeup tutorial for this 60s look that I came up with. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow Gold Souls on Instagram. I'll see you in the next video.